Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about DIY dentistry. I already did one video all about debunking TikTok dental trends and since then I've seen a couple more surprising trends popping up on social media, so let's talk. And before we jump in, I'd like to remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for and my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Let's start with hydrogen peroxide swishing for whitening. In my previous video that I just mentioned, I said, don't do this, and I still stand by that. And let me explain further because I had lots of comments on that video saying things like, um, Whitney, it literally says on the hydrogen peroxide bottle that it is an oral rinse. And my response was yes, but here's the thing. There are some cases where sometimes it can be used safely when diluted and under the care of your dentist, meaning they are in the loop about you doing this at home. But even then, even in those cases, it's not recommended to use routinely. This is because not only does hydrogen peroxide kill off bad bacteria, but it also kills the good bacteria. Killing off good bacteria is not something you want to overdo, which is why this is never recommended as a whitening routine. For hydrogen peroxide to properly properly whitened teeth, it would need to sit on your teeth for a prolonged period of time, way longer than a few seconds of swishing. Having said that, this TikTok trend is where people are swishing for 30 minutes straight, making it even more detrimental to the tissue in your mouth. Just because hydrogen peroxide is the ingredient in most whitening strips, it is not the same. Whitening strips are applied to your teeth only not to your gums, tongue, and all the surrounding tissues in your mouth like hydrogen peroxide swishing is doing. Something to think about. Another trend from my previous video was about veneers, and I'd like to clarify the reason I said TikTok veneers are not a good idea. So like I mentioned in that video, there are some cases where it is safe and recommended under the care of your trusted dental provider, but again, not in the way TikTok trends are doing it. A few people have personally reached out to me about this, genuinely concerned, like they got veneers and now they are stressed, like did they do something wrong? No. If you have veneers because you wanted veneers to improve the cosmetics and aesthetic of your smile, and you made that decision not based off of a TikTok, cool, it's all good. My intention of saying TikTok veneers are not a good idea is because I want people to be educated about making their decision to get veneers from a professional source, like your dentist, and not from social media. There are lots of things to know before you make that commitment, such as veneers unfortunately do not last forever and will most likely need to be replaced throughout your lifetime multiple times and they are expensive so if you are young and just doing it to do it nothing is wrong with your teeth just please remember you're choosing to remove healthy tooth enamel to get these veneers placed again i'm aware that some people want and need to improve the aesthetic of their smile in that case great but i've had one too many patients tell me in their young 20s or 30s how much they regret getting veneers already because now it's a lifetime commitment that they will always have to keep up with Next up is dentures and tooth caps from moldable plastic beads. The risk of attempting to make your own dentures and caps, aka crowns, at home significantly outweigh any expected benefits. Not only is putting a non-medical grade foreign object into your mouth unhygienic, it can also be detrimental to your teeth gums and surrounding tissues in your mouth. Although these DIY teeth may appear similar to what you would receive from your dental office, they are not. Dental professionals who work in dental labs follow regulations and use safe medical grade material to properly fabricate dentures and other dental prosthetics, such as crowns. Also, making a crown yourself in your kitchen will undoubtedly have an improper fit increasing your chance of accidentally swallowing it. And also, when someone is trying to fill the space of a missing tooth at home, they can essentially be adding to an infection. There are times when the crown of the tooth is missing, but part of the root is still present in the gums. Sometimes, oftentimes, you can't see it without dental x-rays, so you wouldn't even know. Trying to cover up an area like this can make matters worse by enclosing an active infection and bacteria into your mouth. And lastly, at home teeth straightening. Okay, so teeth aligners are only recommended under the care of your dental provider. Attempting at home teeth aligners yourself runs the risk of damaging your tooth roots, which can cause root resorption and tooth mobility, which is loose teeth, which can ultimately lead to tooth loss. Like I said, teeth aligners are safe to use if approved and monitored by your dental provider, which entails a consultation with your dentist or orthodontist who will then order the aligners and closely examine your teeth throughout the entirety of the aligning process. 
process. So without your dentist, if you're trying to do the at-home teeth straining kits at home, there can be extremely negative and surprising results. Not worth it. In conclusion, stop chasing dental trends that have damaging effects. Trends come and go, teeth do not. The goal of DIY dentistry is to prioritize and create shortcuts, which is unfortunately the opposite of caring for a healthy future. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. If you want more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com for more information about dental health and dental hygiene. Peace, love, and teeth.